So if we look at the traditional banks, compared to 5% APY, a lot of them offer 0.01%. We're gonna talk about why that is and how to put your savings in a high interest savings account so you can actually earn money from your savings. And plot twist, it is a substantial amount, guys. Okay, so first I wanna talk about my personal finances for a second. So I have two different accounts. One is with Chase, which is considered a traditional bank. And then the other one is a high interest savings account. Now I put the same amount of money into my Chase account and it was making about $8 a year in interest at most. And I took that same amount of money and put it into a high yield savings account and it made me over $300 per month. So right now, high interest savings accounts are giving a really, really high APY, which stands for annual percentage yield. And it's basically like interest on your money. At the time of making this video, you can get up to 5% APY. As always, this is going to fluctuate depending on inflation, the economy, et cetera, et cetera. So make sure you're checking the rates for yourself and don't just assume that because I said 5% now, it's gonna be like that in the future. So to break down what a 5% APY looks like will take a thousand dollars. So for every one thousand dollars you have in your savings account, you're going to be making fifty dollars per year from that. So it seems like it's not that much when we're dealing with lower numbers, but the more you put into your savings account, the more it's going to compound the interest. For example, if you have five thousand dollars in your savings account, then you're going to be making two hundred and fifty dollars extra per year. If you have fifty thousand dollars, you're going to be making two thousand five hundred, and if you have a hundred thousand, you're going to be making five thousand dollars extra per year. The way you calculate this is you take the APY percentage, so we'll use the 5%, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the amount of money that you have in your savings, so we'll use $1,000, and then you're gonna multiply that $1,000 by the 5%. So as a decimal, it's gonna be multiplied by 0.05. So if we look at the traditional banks, compared to 5% APY, a lot of them offer 0.01%, not 1%. 0.01% and that's like a whopping what? I'm not good at math, let me see. <laughs> that's a whopping $1 per year <laughs> for every thousand dollars that you have at a traditional bank. It's not looking so great. And some of these traditional banks charge monthly. Some of the minimums required to avoid the monthly fee are really low, like Chase and Wells Fargo is gonna charge you $5 per month if your balance goes below $300. Citibank has an APY of 0.03%, which is a little better than 0.01, but still not great. And they charge you $4.50 monthly to keep that savings account open. So hopefully this little math lesson and data has convinced you that you need to be using a high interest savings account. But what is it? What is a high interest savings account? It is FDIC insured, so that means your money is protected and it usually has really low or no fees. So we looked up all of the cash advance apps that also have high yield savings accounts. So you can do all of your banking in one place. So aside from the cash advance and the high interest savings account, there's also other perks, like there's no credit check, there's no interest, there's access to ATMs, cash back offers, other types of like money tools. There's just a lot of different things. So if you're interested in a high yield savings account and you wanna use one one of the cash advance apps to do it. Here are the four that have this feature available. The first one is Dave, which has a 4% APY with no minimum balance requirement. Dave also has the ability to set savings goals and also round up. So whatever you buy, Dave is gonna put the change into your savings account automatically. So for example, if you spend like $4.57 using the Chase Debit MasterCard, it's going to round up to $5 and put that change into the savings account. The second option is Current, which allows you to save for up to three different goals. It also has a 4% APY, but you have to earn it. You have to use boosts, so it's gonna start out lower, and then the 4% APY is the cap. And you earn them by setting up qualifying direct deposits to your current account. Current as in the app, not current as in like now. That makes sense. <laughs> There's also no minimum balance. However, there is a catch. If you have more than $6,000 in this account, you will not be able to earn the high interest. So if you're using current, you wanna keep your balance less than $6,000. That's not really ideal because the idea is to let it compound, right? So you wanna put as many savings as you can into one spot. So there might be better options than current. Okay, the next one is Albert. Albert is actually launching this feature, so it's brand new. You can get on the wait list and they're going to offer 4.25% APY. However, with Albert, you need to subscribe to have access to the account and that's $14.99 per month. And that also gives you access to its cash advance feature, which can loan you up to $250. It also offers cash back early access to your paychecks and access to personalized help called Albert Genius. So if you're looking for an app that has multiple features and not just a high 
high interest savings account, you might want to check out Albert. The last app is Varo. Varo offers the highest APY out of all the apps at 5%. Again, like current, it's capped. So if you have more than $5,000, you cannot get the 5% APY. Once it surpasses that $5,000, you'll get 3% APY instead. You'll need to set up an account with at least $1,000 per month in direct deposit. And then as long as you have a positive bank balance by the end of the month, you'll be able to have access to this 5% APY. So Varo is looking pretty good in terms of a high interest savings account, especially for people who are just starting out and have less than $5,000. So overall, you guys need to jump on the high interest bandwagon and don't let those dang traditional banks skimp out on paying you. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you found this helpful. If you did find this helpful, please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time for the next video.